Well, Oklahoma's natural resources have long played a key role in our state's economy. Rich in minerals, Oklahoma is home to several mining companies vital to local economies. This week, we dig into the abundance below, and we start with gypsum, a naturally occurring mineral now used in construction of virtually every home and office building around the world. For more than 100 years, the U.S. Gypsum Company has been a leader in producing such products, and our Jessica Lowe visited the plant in western Oklahoma. It looks a lot like snow, but it isn't. This is just very high purity gypsum. Uh, this is the rock we use for the highest purity and white color requirements of any of the products we make in the plant. This is actually the same rock that we would eat if we were eating calcium sulfate as a calcium enrichment in any of the foods we eat. Bill Weber is USG's Southern Plant Manager, one of about 60 in the USG Corporation. And right here in the middle of western Oklahoma, there's tons of gypsum. The gypsum shows up as a distinct line. The top half is a little bit grayer, the bottom half is a little bit whiter. All the rock here is part of a, it's a marine deposit. When there was an ocean that covered this part of Oklahoma back in the Permian age, which was about 250 million years ago. A gift from Mother Nature, Weber is grateful for. Gypsum is a naturally formed mineral. It's calcium sulfate, which is CaSO4, 2H2O. It has two molecules of water chemical, chemically combined, which makes it a very useful mineral for processing. And this USG plant is totally self-sufficient. We actually start with the naturally formed rock here at the plant site. We uncover the rock, we mine it, we bring it up to the plant, we process it with our own equipment. We take the water out of the rock to process it into a plaster or a stucco. The board department, we actually make sheet rock, wall board. The packing department, we make bag goods of plaster and it ranges anywhere from food grade additives to dental plasters to plasters for tooling and casting road patch material. Gypsum is also used as a soil conditioner, so the dust that we create that gets on the soil actually is beneficial to the soil and the plants. To keep this business intact 24 hours a day and seven days a week, there are more than 300 highly trained workers. Steve Klewer is with Northwest Technology Center and is providing on-site training for USG employees. We gave them some options as far as training on uh, computers for some of their people who needed uh, training. We also uh, worked with them as far as networking their whole plant. They needed some training on fiber optics termination and uh, provided some uh, companies uh, for them that had that expertise and actually uh, received some grant money to help pay for that training. All these people have been trained and developed inside the company to where we're pretty self-sufficient. We have to be out here. There's not a lot of outside contractors that can come in and provide services in this part of the state. A model company that's built its success literally from the ground up. Now Jessica tells us the average person consumes throughout their lifetime about 28 pounds of gypsum as calcium sulfate. To learn more about the history of gypsum in Oklahoma, just head to our website and click on Value Added. 